Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. Make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. All right, so this one I have for you today is the Nina uh, transfer paper for light colored t shirts. Once again, Nina transfer paper for the light colored t shirts. And I will have to tell you, y'all, I have washed these shirts for I would say like this is probably on the 10th wash this is probably on the 10th wash this is probably on the 5th or 6th and y'all it seems like the shirt it seems like the shirt is getting more busted up than the graphic so that's a good thing so if anybody's looking to get into the t-shirt business make sure y'all start off you know with the the, the Nina, use the Nina brand. This is only referring to the Nina brand. Um, you know, start off with that. Because the Nina brand um, white transfer paper, the Nina brand transfer paper for white shirts, sorry about that. It works wonderfully. This looks like it's been direct to garment. No joke. And it even looks great on... Um, even looks great on gray, you know what I'm saying? Gray colored shirts, no joke. I mean, this looks wonderful. Now I know you you guys are probably watching like, what is this, what is this? I see a line in the middle. Basically with this line, this line happened because like when I was pressing it, it kind of messed up a little bit. So that was my, I didn't peel it fast enough. Like, so basically when you press it, um, I think it's 375, the directions come, um, you know, in the box with the paper. So it's 375 and it's a hot peel. But what you want to do is like when you have everything set up, I'm gonna try to give you like an example. Let's see, hold on. All right, so just, let's just imagine this is the heat press, right? So, all right, here you go. So let's say you got it in the heat press like this and your transfer is over top of your shirt and you have the parchment paper that it comes with as well. So you heat press it on there, right? Boop, 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 boop. You pull on the sides of it. Pull on the sides of the shirt so that it separates the, um, do something like this so it separates. And then you peel it, um, peel the image off. And it comes out wonderfully. I'm gonna see if I could kind of zoom in a little bit so y'all can see the stretch. Look at that stretch. Like it is not, coming off. I've seen direct-to-garment t-shirts crack way worse than this. This is just peeling. No, this is just stretching. It's not even peeling. This is just stretching with the shirt. And I'm, yo, I'm scratching this. I could damn near cut this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring some scissors and try to see if I can cut it. This is like my work. One of my everyday shirts. You know how you got them everyday shirts that you like? All right, so you see I'm using scissors to kind of scruff it up a little bit. Damn, I almost cut myself every right day. And I hope y'all are seeing this. The durability of this paper is amazing. It's not shaving off. Some people might say, oh, uh, it's, I like to do in on, in on the shirt. Or if you use the t-shirt transfers, it fades off. Direct the garment is better. Um, no, nah, don't, don't even get into all that. Cause look at this. I'm giving you a live update. I've been scratching this thing for, uh, how long? I've been scratching this thing for a minute. Do y'all see anything coming on? So by the fact, I'm gonna just keep scratching it. What this is, I'm gonna alternate the sharpness. Maybe I even get a razor blade if I can find it. Let's see, let's get these little sewing, these little sewing, uh, scissors that y'all this is not direct to garment this is not direct to garment okay this is t-shirt transfers let's go to the corner go to the corner nothing's happening y'all nothing is happening now this was my test shirt like a, a customer actually ordered this um the colors when they first come out of the the heat press, it's a little darker. Um, it does look a little dull right now because it's been washed a whole bunch of times. But I mean, nothing is happening. Look at that. Look at the colors. 
Can y'all hear that sound? I'm, it's making. But one thing I'm going to have to tell you, this ink that I use in my Canon Pro 10 is pigment-based ink. If you're not too familiar with pigment-based inks, please refer to my other videos because it'll let, it, I can inform you a lot more. Now, a lot of printers, you have to be careful because a lot of printers, uh, a lot of starter printers, they have dye-based inks. It's not the same as dye sublimation, but they call it dye-based inks. Um, if you're using a dye-based inks, dye-based dye inks tend to wash out faster. Pigment-based inks do not wash out as fast as dye-based inks do, okay? So keep that a note. I've used dye-based, no, pigment-based inks in my printer for this. You, I, I mean, I wouldn't recommend so, uh, converting. Please don't even try to, the, that whole conversion process. But use pigment-based inks when you're doing a t-shirt transfers, okay? All right, I'm going to try to show you all my, um, I'm going to try to show you my hoodie that I made. I love this hoodie. Hold on one second. Let me see y'all. I'm back again. Uh, this is a hoodie that I made. And this is on, um, this is also the transfer paper as well on a gray hoodie. I mean, and this looks amazing. It hasn't, it hasn't been washed yet. But I'm pretty sure it's going to look good and fade like the other stuff. And my dog's been laying on it. So if y'all see some hair on it, that's my dog. She's been laying all over it. But the colors are great. Colors are great. I ain't going to lie to you. And you see, I'm still scratching it. Now, once again, you know, a lot of people say, hey, direct the garment. It lasts for forever. No, it doesn't. I've seen direct the garment shirts. You know what I'm saying? Cracking. You know what I'm saying? This, to me, in my opinion, <sighs> man, I can't even lie to you. I feel like this is a little better. This is a little better. In my opinion, I feel like, it, I feel like, well, I ain't gonna say a little better. I would say the colors pop a little more on a, um, on a dye sublimation. No, not dye sub Oh my gosh. On the directed garment. As opposed to, um, you know what I'm saying? The uh, t-shirt transfers, but these do look and feel amazing. No joke. The only main difference I would say is just the um, the colors. The colors just fade out a little. They pop just a less. They pop just a less. All right, if y'all like this video, if you got some value from this video, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace. On to the next one.